Extra, extra, read all about it, Aries. This is about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. This is a full oracle card spread that picks up on energies and general messages for all of Aries. So wherever Aries influences your natal chart um, or influences your life, you could be dealing with an Aries. Pull up a chair. This reading is for you. There's also an extended reading after this. So we're going to start with your crowning energy, which is the energy that is basically the main theme. And then your central energy, which is the central, the heart of the challenges, and then your grounding energy, which is your way through the suggested things that are rooting you and, and holding you down. Not holding you back, but holding you down. And then there's an extended reading after that. That link is in the description box below, which, which goes into all of these energies. I pull a full tarot card spread to suss out details and really personalize all the energies and themes we pick up on here. There's a new Aries video every single week. So please do subscribe to the channel and ring that bell so that you get the, the, the Aries videos as soon as they upload. There's also a ton of Aries videos already in the playlist. And I call these weekly videos because I create a new one every single week. Not because the energy all of a sudden extinguishes at the end of the week. That's not the case. So if you could find another message in that playlist that would help you, then go get it, please. I welcome you there too. So uh, let's get into your reading. Yes, I do do personal readings as well. Um, a lot of people ask me this. And that information is in the description box below. Aries, 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 Aries. Ooh, you got a foxy Sagittarius in your life. But I would watch out because he came out a little bit crooked. So this is a little bit of deception as well as a sense of something that's making you feel uncomfortable this is sly as a fox so fox energy upright is really wonderful energy because it teaches us how to be malleable and not predict the situation but basically it's a game of improv and not even a game it's just the mastery of improvisation but this is definitely intentional deception um somebody scamming you scheming you or not telling you the truth or a general sense of feeling discomfort for some reason um we're going to get deeper into the reason but this is just an energy of um a calculated effort to deceive you wow okay be peace this is also upside down. So this is a loss of partnership or a divorce because um, this is Libra energy. So a loss of a partnership, a divorce, or a sense or mentality of feeling completely outbalanced or outweighed, something being unjudicious, very unfair. Um, maybe as far as um, injustice. Like, 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 like an intentional... This is, I mean, I guess I'm just worried right now. I don't know. Yeah, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like an, an intentional um, cheating, cheating, like, like ma making sure that the playing field is not level, is definitely skewed toward one side in somebody's favor. Take root, take lead. So this is take the lead. And when this comes out in reverse, this is a sense of taking root, finding your root, being grounded and deciding this is where I stand. So Aries, you could be standing for or noticing that there is an injustice or something bad happening around you and you taking root and planting yourself and deciding that I'm going to do something about it. This could be in your life, you could have experienced sort of something that you consider unjust, a sense of people treating you unfairly or not um, really um, um, even caring. Uh, you know, it could be a, a sense of negligence around you as well, a sense, of, a sense of making a decision that people are not going to be able to ignore what's been happening. Okay. And then you are never alone. 
four plus two is the energy of six. Six, six is like the, the lovers in the tarot card. So this is love. This is relationships. This is home. Somebody doing something unfairly about your home or standing up for somebody that you love and somebody that you care for. Um, sticking up for them and making sure that they are safe and protected and they get treated in a respectful way because you see them being degraded. You see them being persecuted or taking advantage of. Maybe somebody has tried to swindle or take advantage of or disrespect or uh, neglect or um, yeah, yeah, somebody that you love, somebody that you care about. So this is a sense of protectiveness, being protective and caring and loving them, or somebody is doing this for you, There, this would be coming from the heart and the home, this sense of being loved and protected by somebody very close to you when times get rough, when um, in the midst of, and it, and it, it's, I don't want to say it's a blatant attack because it's not a blatant attack, but it is a blatant injustice. It is a blatant somebody did something underhanded to, to take something from you that they didn't have a right to take. And that's the kind of energy that's, that's being defended against. Spirit has a plan. This is overseeing this energy of seeing it all happen, but not necessarily because this is spiritual energy. So even though spirit can clue you into what's happening, it doesn't necessarily have a hand in being able to move things because it's not three dimensional. So this is about the wisdom, the hired wisdom of knowing that something is wrong and something is it needs to be changed. Um, and, and it doesn't necessarily just have to be spiritual in this context, especially the central energy. It is your energy of seeing seeing that something is wrong, seeing that something is happening that is absolutely unfair and really kind of trying to assess the situation to figure out, okay, but what can I actually do about it? This decision of taking a stance and taking root, um, um, means you have decided that you're going to do something about it, but this is a sense of, okay, but, but what? Looking, trying to look at the situation and realizing morally this doesn't vibrate correctly. So this, this really has sort of pegged your moral compass. Okay. And this is trust in the magic, but this is also, okay. This is also in reverse. So this is um, um, something being stalled, not a new start. Um, maybe even a sense of something dying or not given a chance to bloom or take root or a sense of trying to shut something down and stop it from becoming a thing which could be good or bad depending on where the injustice sits right the injustice could be that you're being shut down for a business or an opportunity that you want to open because of different laws or circumstances or situations that um, are, are unjust or that you feel are unjust or this could just be a sense of wanting to shut something down before it's born because you can see the dangers of it coming to be so um this is aquarius energy so it, it coming out in reverse does imply that there is a sense of um somebody working for their their own good as opposed to the community good type of energy and this is also 6-6, six, six, which adds up to 12, which reduces down to 3, but it's, it's in reverse. So this is an unbalanced, taking too much, or even in some ways assuming that you're all alone in this and taking too much responsibility on yourself, which puts you back into the position of defending somebody else because you think they can't defend themselves or you think nobody else will help you. And then this is the embrace the in-between, also Libra and energy. This is really interesting, Aries, because both all Libra and energy is coming out in reverse, right? All air energy is coming out in reverse. So whatever you're hearing or feeling, whatever's supposed to be helping you and fueling you is actually, it's letting you down. It's disappointing you. This is a sense of... Um, partnership and beauty and figuring out how to make both sides work no this is absolutely no not making both sides work no partnership ending the partnership in in some ways not even wanting to hear the other side of things okay aries 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 Aries, Aries, 
Aries, Aries, Aries, Aries, Aries. Yeah, this is Leo energy. This is really interesting. So we have uh, your, this is your energy, but in reverse. Something that has drained you, something that has diminished you or made you feel diminished. This is a sense of feeling crippled in a way of feeling uh, even maybe ashamed of yourself or, or like you don't have any power, like you've completely lost your sense of self. This is both Aries and Libra energy. It's almost like a collapse of two different extremes. Ooh. Maybe because they've been so insistent on their extremes, they forgot to talk to each other, and that's what made them collapse. So this is in your grounding energy, which is what is the root? What is the root of the problem? How can we really understand this? This is Leo energy in reverse, which is A, you're looking in the past, and B, you're trying to change something that can't be changed because it's in the past. You're not looking into the future of how to make things better. And there's uh, this energy of um, ego, ego, egotistical, being all about the self, um, sort of self-consumed. This, that's not, that's negative, that, that, that's, that's unbalanced Leo energy, right? Up, upright, this is wonderful, beautiful energy. In reverse, this is a sense of just an egotistical person, just looking out for themselves. Um, and then we have transformation is beautiful right next to it. So this is scorpionic energy, a transcendence beyond this ignorant state of mind of judging from the ego or judging from fear and transcending beyond that. So getting, being able to get away from that and be above it. And then life is speeding up. This is Gemini energy, the only air energy here that's actually upright, which is making two different, like, like double helix, bringing something together, bringing two different extremes together um, through communication, through listening to each other and that's the way out the way through so there is a sense of maybe um oh this is a lot this is a lot um there is a sense of maybe mediation being what has helped or what helped get you through there is a sense of looking back and maybe even this is something that happened to you in the past looking back over it and remembering the circumstance and figuring, wow, maybe at this point in my life, I'm at a completely different point in my life. Or this could be a re-emergence of that fox, that fox character coming back in at a point in your life where you thought you were beyond this and above this. And basically disrupting you again. Bringing, back, bringing you back to a time in your life that you didn't want to go back to. But this is the thing, Aries. You're not really back. If this has happened in the past, you're not really back there just because this person shows back up. Um, let it be a reminder of how far you've come. Because this isn't a sense of you're being sucked back in. This is a reminder of how far away from it you are now and how differently it would affect you. But I would not be surprised if there was a reemergence, especially with Mercury retrograding in Cancer. So there is a sense, especially if this person is part of your family or really affected your family or affected your heart space and your home space, this is a sense of this person re-emerging in your life for some reason and a, your reaction being feeling like almost feeling victimized because this person has even dared to come back into your space. Um, and there could have been initial victimization to begin with, but also just a sense of being bought back into that period in your life emotionally their reemergence showing you that you weren't as over it as you thought you were. Maybe fiscally you are, maybe uh, legally you are, but there is that sense of emotionally that person still had an impact on you because in some ways your higher sense of self can't believe that A, you got into that situation to begin with and B, still feels some shame about 
um, allowing yourself to stay in the situation for as long as you did. And all of those things are ways that you're going to have to forgive yourself ways that you're going to have to find to understand to like first realize for, that they're actually still there because a lot of times when we move on those little tiny cracks we don't fill in because we think oh we're over it and then this person shows up and reminds us and those cracks start like leaking poisonous gas and we're like oh but at least now I know what cracks to fill in and at least now I know that this person still has an impact on me you know, and this will can enable me to then be able to really transcend by filling in all those cracks and realize forgiving myself, you know, transcending above that ego, because it really is ego against yourself, especially of I'm ashamed of myself. I must have been an idiot for even allowing it. I must have been an idiot for even letting this happen. No, you were a human. Okay, and it was all a growing and learning experience and feeling that that is pride. That's that egotistic. That's not just this person being egotistical, feeling that they even have a right to reemerge in your life. But th that is your ego interfering with your transcendence and being able to move forward simply by your not allowing you to forgive you or to forgive them. And forgiveness is not right. We talk about this all the time. Forgiveness is not uh, you were allowed to treat me this way. Uh, it was, it's basically untethering yourself from what happened so that it doesn't have any power over you anymore. Right. So this is a really beautiful opportunity to understand where there might be still some cracks in your ego and be able to heal them and help them and really then move on to a place where this person doesn't have any power over you anymore at all. So um, let's get into the tarot card reading. OK, I'm going to I'm going to go dig into detail about this whole circumstance. Um, as well as do the romance reading, which is guidance and messages for all different kinds of romantic situations, both both single and um, and couples. So uh, meet me over there. I'm happy to have you join me, and I'll see you in the extended.